alive! Thanks to you, and your friend here. Friend? I am not often called that. But I wish to know more about the Fallen Star. The prophecy of the End Days surely points to it as a sign that the End has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. I've spent most of my life traveling from place to place with Uncle Deckard, while he did his crazy research. It seems reasonable enough to me. He's convinced that the forces of Hell will invade our world and bring about the end times. All these years, he's still searching for a way to stop this apocalypse. What did you learn of Adria? She wasn't from Tristram originally. She came here during the Troubles. She was in search of something, but I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. I will find a way to lay him to rest. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leia. You should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your, your own eyes? Horrors have visited Tristram before, and it endured. But what of the texts? The Zakarum tomes warn of a falling star. The Herodric Scroll spoke of the dead rising, and the Lord of Lies. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I, I was eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. I volunteer to help because it seemed the right thing to do. True, though you have- That's a simple thing for you. I am the last of the Herodrim. I couldn't always claim this. In fact, if I had turned to the Herodric teachings sooner, Diablo could have been stopped before his reign of terror began. That seems unlikely. When the first signs appeared, I did nothing. I had shrugged the old tales off like they were so much fantasy, and Tristram no, the world has paid dearly for my arrogance. I have tried to make up for my failings. Leah and I have spent her lifetime scouring the world, collecting pieces of the prophecy of the end days. If I can decipher it, we will have the key to defeating the Lords of Hell. You and Leah depend on each other. I do not know what my life would have been like had I not raised her. Oh, it must have been difficult for Leah, following an old man on a mad search for the secrets to defeating the lords of the burning hells. 
<laughs> but though she has seen her share of mysterious things, she is still unsure of my quest. I, I can understand. She has never seen anything like Diablo and his brothers. The prophecy of the end days is contained within the Herodric tomes I inherited from my ancestor, Jared Kane. It is a warning to those who could interpret it regarding Hell's ultimate invasion of our world, written by many different people throughout history, in many different lands. All known versions of the prophecy are incomplete. I have spent a good part of the past 20 years trying to complete it. I am certain it holds the answers to defeating the Lords of Hell. What happened to Tristram's king? Leoric resisted Diablo's attempts to possess him, but the effort left him weak and confused. When his son Albrecht was kidnapped to be a vessel for Diablo, it destroyed any sanity Leoric had left. And so he became the Skeleton King. He commanded an army of the dead deep within the cathedral, finally serving the Lord of Terror he had resisted while alive. Many adventurers tried and failed to slay the Skeleton King. It was left to Leoric's eldest son, Aiden, to finally kill the monster his father had become. 